What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the Master Lee's Plus Sun Gohan from Ichiban Kuji, Dragon Ball vs Omnibus Amazing. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. The figure seems based on the moment Gohan bursts from Raditz Space Pod from Dragon Ball Z Chapter 8. This is an Ichiban Kuji release, and if you'd like to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, please watch the video in my description below once you've finished this one. The Ichiban Kuji set consists of Goku and Gohan, Raditz, Gohan, Piccolo and Gohan, Super Vegeta, and Semi Perfect Cell as the last one prize. This figure sells for an average price of 55 US dollars on the market. If you're interested in buying the figure for cheap, then use my discount code PEACHES24 at BashwinCollectibles.com to get 10% off of your first order and 5% off of every future order afterwards. This figure was released on May 24th, 2024, along with the rest of the Ichiban Kuji set. Gohan stands at about 8 inches tall, weighs 1 pound 4 ounces in box, weighs 13.3 ounces on his own, and the figure comes whole with his space pod. Alright, it's time to talk about probably the most unique figure in this entire set, and it is our very second Masterly's Plus figure ever. It is Son Gohan from Dragon Ball Z2. Uh, anyways, let's dive right into the review without further ado. Uh, Gohan as a character choice. I love this, this, this choice as a character. We've been getting a lot of Gohan for the past... Uh, couple years actually between all the superhero master lease figures between some dragon ball z master lease figures and you know i can't really complain gohan is almost as popular as goku for a time he was the most popular character in dragon ball z for a very long time and he just starred in his own movie so the spotlight is definitely back on gohan this actually was a figure in a way that i predicted and desired from Master Lee's in 2024. If you go back and watch um, my, uh, I think I, it's like the top 10 predictions for, for uh, Dragon Ball Z, Ichiban Kuji or whatever, or my predictions for Ichiban Kuji in 2024, whatever that video is called, it's over here somewhere, or, or I'll, I'll link it up above. Um, uh, I, I wanted Kid Gohan. I, I wanted him like when he's already landed on the ground and angry because I didn't think that they could get away, you know, the Master Lee style with something like this wonderful piece of art uh it's basically on a diorama so i think that's super cool this really opens up the possibilities for master release plus you know i am seeing these these like cheap ichiban kuji that are coming out in august and september and october that are not master release and you get things like bulma on a bike or whatever and i know people like to see that but with master release plus wouldn't you prefer a master release plus of Goku and Bulma on a bike, like that's 100% possible. So I don't know, uh, I, I uh, that's another conversation I guess for another day. But for this Gohan, I love the idea, I love the choice, and it's a Gohan that we, we don't have yet as a Masterly is in this outfit and everything. So it's a five out of five for character choice. I'll leave it at that. Uh, his likeness, guess who sculpted this figure, my dudes? It is our boy Varuk, the GX Materia Master. He has done some Ichiban Kuji before. He's done the Tao Pai Pai from the Dragon Ball EX set. He's done the Android 17 from the EX set. And I think he's even done the Dragon Ball EX Vegeta from Super Decisive Battle. So his, his work just speaks for itself, man. Like, Gohan looks 
so good. The details on his teeth, his angry little face, dude. Like, the way he made his eyes. His eyes, I think that's what really draws you in. And then the little details. He's got a single tear coming down his smaller eye. He's got a sweat drop above that eye that's been sculpted in. Like, I think you can actually, yeah, you can feel him on his face. Like, ah, so, so good. Farouk did a spectacular job. He doesn't look exactly like the manga, I will say that, but it, it looks, you know, great. I think if you're going to deviate a little bit from the manga to translate this into a 3D environment better, you know, make it look good. Make it make it stand out. Make it your own, kind of like what the anime does. The anime, they they change up the art style for certain scenes and, and all that stuff. That That's in, like, every single anime. Uh, so I love, love, love what Varuk did here. It's a 5 out of 5 for his likeness. Sculpt quality, I think, really speaks for itself. Obviously, Gohan is super cool. The way that, that he sculpted out his gi is very well done. He's got good texture on his fur. His hair is perfect. Like, you don't see any seams or, de or those, those lines that are, like, poking out from different pieces on there. At least it's not obvious. Uh, he's got, like, the stone that's flying off from the rubble. It's, like, stuck to his body, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, and then, of course, the... The sand pot itself, like the rubble looks super cool. It's got like scratches and cracks all over it. There's a, there's a translucent piece to it. Like the purple, the pink little space pod is translucent and cracked, which is super cool. And of course, I think the same exact hat that they used for Gohan in the first Master Release Plus with, with Goku holding him, they took his hat and they just stuck it onto this figure. So very cool, very cool for them to do that. And of course he's got like this little energy shoot that's making him fly up uh, just to make it look like a little more uh, dynamic. Um, so usually I don't like things like that, but this just looks so cool. And the thing about him being on a diorama, you would expect it's gonna take up like a lot of space, but because it's kind of shooting straight up, it doesn't really, so I really do like that. Sculpt quality is a 5 out of 5. Just a fantastic job from uh, from uh, Varuk. I, I'm assuming Varuk did Gohan, and someone else helped him sculpt out the Saiyan pod itself, because I think there were some other sculptors that were credited, like I think someone named Joe. Uh, forgive me if I'm for, forgetting your name or saying it wrong. Um, so congratulations to all you guys, because this, this thing's amazing. Uh, paint and shading, fantastic. Uh, you see the, the shading that I really like actually is on the sand pot itself like you see good mixtures of light grays and dark grays you see shading all over Gohan there's shading mostly on his uh, his green uh, little little suit that's under there um, you do see some shading on his uh, yellow very subtly it's mostly in the wrinkles of his shirt um, and that's about it, but like everything from like the translucent uh, color finishes for the glass and the energy You see some metallic coloring for the blue spots of the sand pod Man, paint shading is a 5 out of 5. It's freaking fantastic uh, Size and scale is also good. Um, he's 8 inches because Gohan is jumping up into the air uh, And oh, yeah, I forgot to say something funny <laughs> um, When I first recorded the b-roll for this Gohan, I had him on this thing wrong um, I had him facing like outwards and his foot wasn't connected to the stone on here. So make sure that when you put this together, there's a stick that goes right into his like leg and there's a stick that goes into his left foot. So make sure he's looking uh, pretty much uh, facing the same direction that the Dragon Ball is like coming out towards. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I deleted all that footage because I was like, wow, people are going to think I'm stupid. Uh, thankfully, my, my thumbnail designer, Den Designs, which shout outs to him. He's great at thumbnails. You guys should check him out. He pointed it out to me when I sent him photos of, of Gohan for thumbnails. So thank you, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, size and scale is good. He's, he's just shooting up from out of there. Um, that's that's why he's so tall, but like the figure itself, he's probably like the same size as like every single Kid Gohan figure that we've gotten, except for Battle on Planet Namek. That one's bigger for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, size and skills a 5 out of 5 if I haven't said that already. Yeah, it's, it's really good. He's going to pair well with every, anything. He makes my Saiyan Saga shelf look so good. Uh, I'm really excited to recollect the Warriors Who Defend the Earth Kuji, so... My Saiyan Saga shelf is going to look rad, dude. It's going to look so good. It already looks awesome right now, but I just need that set, and it's going to be, like, complete for now until they start announcing more. But uh, this thing blew me away. It's so awesome. 
I can't believe it's it's fairly cheap online to get. Like fifty five dollars is pretty pretty affordable for a master lease, especially one of this quality. Um, I highly recommend you go pick this up. It's one of the best Gohan figures that you can get out there. If you're a fan of Kid Gohan, this is probably the best Kid Gohan figure. So I'm going to walk away and give this figure a 5 out of 5. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later.